Oh shit. The end of Raw. <laughs> the thing that when the Authority walked out last week, everyone sort of groaned and complained about happened again. This is one of the reasons why everybody hates the Authority. They're supposed to hate the Authority. They're the main heels. Um, you know, WWE has been running the... Well, wrestling in general has been running the heel uh, general manager, heel owner, heel person in charge for the last... Basically since 1997. Since the screw job, that is the staple in wrestling. The owner hates everybody and uh, wants to screw everybody to keep them down so they don't have to pay them. Make this guy champion because he thinks it's best for business. This, that, or the other. This is what people hate. And WWE has stepped up to the plate and delivered again. When the show started, Triple H came out and said basically that they weren't going to do things the same this time as they'd done it the past. And he broke that promise in the same three-hour show. Uh, Triple H uh, you know, and uh, Stephanie, uh, they brought Cena down to the ring for John Cena Appreciation Night. And um, there wasn't really much appreciating that they went down. Not good at all. <laughs> basically, Cena told... I'm sorry, I apologize. Basically, Triple H told Cena uh, that it was time to dump all the hu hustle, loyalty, and respect crap. Um, you know, he sees the big picture of John Cena, that um, he is a, a great talent. Uh, he just uh, has been real hard on him over the years. And uh, basically, you know, Triple H was thanking Cena uh, for all the money that he's made the company, all the money that he's made him. Uh, and at that point... Triple H invited out John Cena's Survivor Series teammates, Dolph Ziggler, Eric Rowan, and Ryback. The reason why Big Show didn't come out is basically because Big Show turned and he made the deal with Triple H during the match where he walked across the ring and shook Triple H's hand, um, and, and Triple H was stunned. This was definitely something that wasn't planned um, in the back. This was definitely a gut decision by Big Show. Um, at the time he did it, Big Show looks like an idiot. It was three to three inside of the ring. Uh, it did give um, you know uh, the the the, uh, the authority the leverage in this match. Three guys against two guys. No, yeah, well, at the time three guys against one guy. Why Big Show didn't believe in himself? John Cena and Dolph Ziggler basically taking out Cena and himself at the same time. Maybe just Big Show didn't like being a babyface or. I still don't really know why he did that. Uh, we, they really haven't shown what deal Big Show has gotten. He has the ironclad contract from John Laronitis, unless that deal expired and he's been signed to another deal. But with all the problems that um, he and Triple H have had, where basically Triple H was using Big Show's house as leverage against himself um, and, and saying that Big Show hadn't made the, the right choices in his life and Big Show was running out of money and this, that, and the other... And, Use that to, to basically build up what we thought was going to be a, a Big Show versus Triple H match. Ended up being Big Show versus Randy Orton and killing the whole angle. Uh, <laughs> they've never spoke of it again. But uh, basically once uh, Dolph Ziggler, Eric Rowan, and the Ryback came down to the ring, basically all the guys were lined up and told that they were going to be given some sort of punishment uh, for what happened at at, uh, uh, at Survivor Series. I think I talked about this in my... Uh, uh, video today uh, talking about that you know Triple H and Stephanie the authority was going to make these guys lives hell uh, for basically them not being on television for two months and uh, basically they started with Eric Rowan they started with the uh, the bottom and they worked their way to the top uh, they basically called Rowan uh, the wild card uh, that basically he he joined the team and uh, they sort of respected the fact that he stood outside of the box. Uh, he didn't really have anywhere to go after the Wyatts broke up. Um, but, uh, you know, he's still, the punishment needs to be handed out. And they suggested a 30 day suspension. Uh, from there, basically, Steph, you know, brought up Ryback, uh, saying that he turned against uh, the authority, joining the team first, and then basically turning on them and, and starting a war, uh, going over and joining Team Cena, and uh, that his suspension should be more than Rowan's. Uh, where they said 60-day suspension. Boom. Done. Uh, and then we move on to Dolph Ziggler. And for Dolph, they, they asked him, what would your suspension like to be? Bringing up the fact that it was Dolph's fault uh, being the guy who scored the pinfall over um, Seth Rollins uh, that ended it. And uh, Dolph basically said, 
90 day suspension, basically building off 30, 60, 90. A 90 day suspension for Ziggler would bring him back in time for Mania. He would miss the Rumble. He'd miss Fast Lane, but uh, at least he'd get that, that, that big WrestleMania check. But the guy that, that they need to be mad at is Sting, but you can't, you can't suspend a guy who uh, doesn't work for you. And um, uh, they're just trying to get back at everybody, uh, but not blaming the main guy. Um, from there, basically, Triple H and Stephanie, they, they took some time, but they walked out of the ring to think over uh, these suspensions that they had handed out, uh, walking their way up to the ramp. And basically, they turned around, and Stephanie said, you know, hey, we've, we've thought about it. We're not going to suspend any of you guys at all. Instead, you're all fired. <laughs> fired them all right there on the stage. Uh, Dolph Ziggler, Eric Rowan, and the Ryback all fired, and uh, John Cena is the guy to blame. And uh, from there, Stephanie and uh, Triple H basically, you know, drop confetti down. They're playing music. They're dancing, being all pumped up that they've, you know, screwed John Cena. Um, you know, it's John Cena's fault. He's got to carry this with him that three men lost their jobs. He's not going to have anybody to stand behind him going into this fight against Brock Lesnar and his arch nemesis Seth Rollins at the Royal Rumble. He's going to make him a lot of money. But uh, John's not going to be happy with what's going down. Uh, basically, you saw Stephanie and Hunter dance a bit. They basically made out right there on the stage. Confetti and balloons dropping all over John Cena. Uh, the three men just left not knowing what to do. And uh, the authority gains control of WWE now. Uh, basically shattering everyone. Uh, in my mind, uh, I I'm guessing that all three of these men are going to be on Monday Night Raw next week. Maybe we can get one of these Sting uh, appearances where Sting rights the wrong of, of Triple H. Uh, I don't know if you have Sting stand up for him, but then again, do you really see WWE without Eric Rowan? Maybe. But do you really see WWE without having Ryback and Dolph Ziggler um, being a part of the fold right now? Just having John Cena as your... You got Roman Reigns, too, as your baby face. You know, you know um, Daniel Bryan's not going to be on television probably until the Royal Rumble again. You just... Not going to have any baby faces except for the Usos? I don't think so. So, we're going to have to see. Here's your cliffhanger building towards next week. Three guys lost their jobs. Thanks a lot, John Cena.